Are you new to the area? Maybe you currently live in the Ogden area and you'd like to find out what are the top restaurants that people eat at. You probably are familiar with the chain restaurants, the Applebee's, the Denny's, the Chili's, the Red Lobsters, etc, etc. On this video, we're talking about the mom and pop businesses that the locals eat at. We're going to be talking about breakfast, lunch, dinner, a brewery, and dessert. Every restaurant on the list I have personally eaten at. And I'm going to share with you the meals that I order every time I go there. This is probably the most honest video on the internet. I am not being paid from anybody on the list and I am not receiving any kind of compensation at all from anybody that I talk about. And we're getting after it right now. And if this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn everything about living in Utah, eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, whatever there is, you've come to the right channel. You may consider tapping that subscribe button down below. Let's become a friend. Also, if you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. And that's every week. And honestly, we've been getting so many phone calls, emails, and texts from all over the world, and we absolutely love it. So if you are considering buying or selling real estate in Utah, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. We got your back when moving to Utah. So my top places to eat in Ogden and the surrounding areas. We won't just stick with just Ogden. We'll go outside the local area a little bit. Let's start with breakfast. My place of choice has to be Moore's Family Restaurant, located at 3558 Wall Avenue in Ogden, Utah. Very easy to find. It's on one of the major roads in Ogden. Now, this location only serves breakfast and lunch. If I had to describe this place, I would call it a good old-fashioned breakfast place. They have been around for 48 years. Now, when you first go there, Parking is limited out front, but don't worry. If you go down the side of the building to the rear, there is plenty of parking for you. If you have a big appetite, they serve up a hungry man's breakfast that is loaded with everything. It's too much food for me to eat, so my dish of choice is normally the combo special. You get pancakes, bacon, two eggs, and hash browns. Plenty of food to fill me up. If you're looking for a lunch dish, I have a recommendation for that too. I've eaten there a few times for lunch. I usually order the hot turkey sandwich with country gravy and mashed potatoes. On the colder days, it really does warm up the stomach. So maybe you miss breakfast and you need some quick lunch to go. How about some Chinese food? I've got a great recommendation for you. My go-to place is Maple Garden Express located at 475 12th Street in Ogden. It's right behind the Walgreens. So on 12th and Washington, you have the Walgreens. There's a couple businesses behind it. There's a Denny's restaurant, there's an Office Max store, and there's Maple Garden Express. At this location, you can dine in. They've got a few tables, or you can get the food to go. Take it home, take it back to work. It's a family-run business that is a real big hit with the locals in the area. In my opinion, they serve up big portions that taste great. And it's cooked up fresh right in front of you every day. Some days you'll actually find some of the family members working right in the store. And I think it's very reasonably priced. My recommendation, my wife has the exact same recommendation, we seem to order the exact same dish, is the Sasquan chicken with rice or noodles. Or you can get a combination of both, a little bit of rice and a little bit of noodles. While we're talking about lunch, I've got another recommendation for you for some quick lunch. It's a place that cooks up some Greek food, and it's located at the Newgate Mall in Ogden. It's in the food court. Yes, I said it's in a mall, but give this place a shot. It's a family-run business, and it has been there for 30 years. Most days that you go in there, you will see the family members there cooking and serving up some great Greek food. My menu would have to be the Euro Sandwich. I think the lamb is cooked just perfectly, just the way I like it. And when they put the toppings on it, it does not seem to overpower the lamb. And I usually will add some of the Greek sauce onto their soft pita bun. Oh, what an amazing sandwich. If I do not get that, I usually will grab one of their kebabs. The chicken and steak is my go-to one. I usually will add a salad with some of their house dressing and they make some amazing lemon rice and also add a good pita bun, put it all together, and you have an A-plus lunch meal. 
Do you have a love for pizza? Well, I have three choices for your delight in Ogden. So grab a pen and paper and take some notes. First up, we have Lucky Slice Pizza. It's located at 207 25th Street in Ogden, right there on historic 25th Street. Real easy to find. Now, Lucky Slice Pizza is a Utah company, and they have many locations throughout the state. So you can pick up a slice of pizza at one of their other locations. But every time I think of Lucky Slice Pizza, I always think about the unique pizza names that they've come up with. They have a Lucky 7 Pizza, a Dub All-Star Pizza, a Chicken Club Pizza, Little Jerry, Wise Guy, Fire Island, Hippie Jump, Chedhead, Head, and many, many more. I can't think of all the pizza names that they have. Have you ever heard of pizzas with these names before? I'd love to know in the comments down below. And it doesn't end there. If you want some boneless wings, they call them boneless nugs. Okay, what kind of pizza do you get at Lucky's? Well, I feel that you get a New York style pizza. It has a thinner crust. And my favorite pizza on the menu has to be hands down the margarita pizza. They also do vegan pizzas, many, many to choose from on the menu. Take a trip to the restaurant. It has a very cool vibe. If you are waiting for your pizza, they have an arcade game in the corner that you can play. They also have some chalkboard walls that you can doodle on, do some artwork. But I really love the old brick on the walls. It really gives the pizza joint some great character. Option number two for some pizza in Ogden has to be the Pie Pizzeria, also known as the Pie. They have a couple locations throughout the state of Utah, and the locals, we call it the Pie. This location is at 3500 Harrison Boulevard in Ogden, Utah. Harrison Boulevard is one of the major roads in Ogden, so it's not hard to find. It's actually just a couple buildings south of Weber State University. They have been in business for over 35 years. I have been a customer of the pie since the 1980s. The original location in Salt Lake City is up by the University of Utah. Every time I go there, you can hardly hear anything in the building. There is a large, large college crowd there every night of the week. Both locations have wonderful food. I prefer the Ogden location. I feel that it has a more open floor plan, a little more spacious, and it has a great vibe. Now, some people in the state of Utah feel their pizza is a little bit on the expensive side, but you have to remember, their pizzas are giant in size. They can feed a whole family. What's my go-to pizza? It has to be the chicken ranch pizza, and I usually order it with a thin crust. All their pizzas that has tons of cheese and toppings. If you do not like a lot of cheese on your pizza, ask them to go a little bit light on the cheese. They'll take care of you. Whatever pizza you decide, I would highly recommend an order of cheese bread. Option number three in Ogden for some pizza has to be Tony's Pizza, located at 403 39th Street in Ogden. It is just off of Washington Boulevard. I've been a customer for many years. The business was started by Tony Toscana and is now owned by his daughter, Tina. Now, I've known Tony for many years, and if there's one thing I always remember about Tony is he told me that the recipes are from his family heritage in Italy. It has been handed down generation after generation. Now, I said it was a pizza place, but my recommendation will not be pizza here. It is the meatball sandwich. In my opinion, it is the best meatball sandwich in the area. Now, the pizzas that they serve are also very delicious, but my go-to meal is always the meatball sandwich. I do have a third option for you when it comes to pizza around the Ogden area, and this location is called Pie and Fry. It is located in downtown Ogden at 2251 Grant Avenue. Real easy to find. They actually took over a old Burger King, it is a newer business. They've only been open for the last couple of years. At this location, you get to order your own personal sized pizza and an order of fries with your choice of toppings. When it comes to pizza, they have some pre-made pizzas on the menu, some of the common ones that you're used to, or you can choose your own pizza. Make it yourself. Add pepperoni, cheese, sausage, onions, whatever you would like. 
Then you order your fries with toppings. The toppings are endless. They do barbecue, sweet chili cheese ranch, curry, chili verde, brown gravy, country gravy, pesto chicken, cheddar bacon, and many, many more. I know I'm forgetting some of them. That's how they came up with the name Pie and Fry. So what do I usually get when I go to this location? Well, I'm more of a traditional person. I just grab the meat lover pizza with chili cheese fries. Being a new business, I hope it survives COVID-19. A lot of restaurants have been struggling through this difficult time. So maybe you enjoy a great burger. Well, I have a couple recommendations for you in that department also. First one on the list will be the Shooting Star Saloon, located at 7350 East, 200 South in Huntsville, Utah. It is outside the Ogden area, but it's only a short drive up the canyon to beautiful Huntsville, Utah, and it is well worth the drive. This location has been around since 1879. Yes, 1879. It is the oldest continuously operating bar in the West. Let's talk about the menu. Let's start with what they do not offer. There are no fries. There's no onion rings. There's no wings. There's no pizza. Only two things on the menu. That would be burgers and chips, and that would be potato chips. So my choice when I go there has to be the famous Star Burger. It has two patties, cheese, sauteed onions, mustard, ketchup, pickles, lettuce, tomato. It doesn't end there. They then top it off with a Polish sausage. I do have one recommendation when you go there. Grab plenty of napkins. Also, this establishment only takes cash. It is a bar, so you have to be over 21 years old to get in the establishment. If you're going there with the kiddos, I'd recommend that you get the order to go. Right around the corner is a beautiful park with some park benches for you to enjoy your sandwich. I do have another option for you when it comes to burgers. This place is called Burley Burger, located at 2572 East South Weber Drive in South Weber, Utah. It is located just off Highway 89. So when you're on Highway 89 and you take the South Weber Drive exit, you'll notice a Maverick gas station. Their business is located straight across the street. They are a new business. They've only been open for a couple years. I personally have only been here once, but it left a lasting impression. One thing I really remember was it was tough trying to decide which one of their burgers to try. I finally went with the Paul Bunyan burger and they load their burgers with toppings. It was very filling. I cannot forget about the french fries. They do a thick cut french fry, which I prefer. I prefer them over the thinner fries. Really was a hit with me. And I really enjoyed their shake. I ordered a Reese's shake and it was loaded with peanut butter cups. In my opinion, that's the only way to have a shake. I will be coming back to this business to try some of their other unique hamburgers. How about some Mexican food? I've got a great place to recommend for you in the Ogden area. It's called Maria's at 1479 East, 5600 South in South Ogden. Now this is a brick and mortar building. They also have a catering business. So if you have a business or you've got a wedding going on, they can handle whatever your needs are. Also, in the brick and mortar store that they have, they do have a VIP area that's nice and private. So if you've got a larger crowd and you want a little bit of privacy, give them a try. So what's my choice of food when I go here? Well, I usually get the combination plate. It's got a taco, an enchilada, chili verde burrito, rice, beans. There's plenty of food. It's a large plate. So come hungry or get a box to go. I can't forget to mention that while you're waiting for your food, they also offer chips and salsa. One thing that has always stood out to me about this business year after year when I've been there is how clean it appears and how well decorated the restaurant is. Let's talk about some Italian food. My go-to place is Rivoli's Italiano at 174 25th Street in Ogden. It's located right on historic 25th Street along with some other fine restaurants. The restaurant is in a historic building. It's over 100 years old. And when you walk through the door, you get a very authentic atmosphere with the old brick walls, the wooden floors, and the old school Italian decor. So what do I order here? Well, 
my recommendation would be the lasagna with the meat sauce or the chicken parmesan sandwich or the chicken alfredo. It's always a hard decision every time I go there, but it doesn't end there. The best part is the desserts. The cheesecake and the tiramisu is amazing. I keep telling myself every time I come to this restaurant, I should just order desserts. Pile the table full of desserts. Are you a steak lover? Well, I've got a couple options around the Ogden area for your enjoyment. First up, we have the Timbermine Steakhouse, located at 1701 Park Boulevard in Ogden, Utah. Don't just take my word for it. There's a local newspaper in town called the Standard Examiner. It has rated the Timbermine, the Reader's Choice Restaurant, for 13 years. So what's my go-to order? Well, I'm a meat and potato guy, so I make it real simple. I usually get the 16 ounce prime rib with the loaded baked potato and a salad. Simple and delicious. Over the years, me and my wife have visited this location for a good old fashioned dinner date. We really enjoy it. It's a beautiful location with a rustic style that makes the atmosphere unique and very different. I have another option for you when it comes to a steakhouse. This one is called Ruby River Steakhouse. Located at 4286 Riverdale Road in Riverdale, Utah. Awards and recognitions. Ruby River has it. They have been voted Utah's best steak by City Search and City Weekly time and time again. Every time I go here, I absolutely love the building. It is one large log cabin. The atmosphere inside and outside is just amazing. They must have spent a couple million dollars on the building. Food recommendations. I know I said it was a steakhouse, but my two favorite dishes are not steak. Dish number one would be the baby back ribs smothered in the Ruby River barbecue sauce. And they cook the ribs the way I absolutely love them. Soft meat that is just falling off the bone. Dish number two would be the seafood linguine. It is packed with shrimp, scallops, mushrooms, in an Alfredo sauce with Parmesan cheese on the top. I do have a recommendation for an appetizer here. It is the cheese fries. It is French fries loaded with bacon and cheese in a river sauce. What's a river sauce? Well, it's a fry sauce with a barbecue flavor. Maybe you'd like to have a couple brewskis with your food. Well, I have a great place for you. It's called Rooster's Brewing Company at 253 25th Street in Ogden, Utah. It is located on historic 25th Street, along with some of the other restaurants that's on my list. This is a great place to catch a fresh microbrew and a bite to eat. Couple options, couple recommendations for food. The buffalo burger with farm cheese and fries is very good. I've also enjoyed the three taco plate with rice and beans. If I had to describe this place in a nutshell, I would call it a great brewery in downtown Ogden with some yummy food. What would a list be if I do not have a recommendation for some dessert? Well, I've got an ice cream place for you. It's called Far Better Ice Cream, located at 286 21st Street in Ogden. They've been there for years. I've been going there myself for years. It's always a great place to wrap up a date night. There are so many flavors to choose from, and the scoop portions are very generous. My favorites on the list have to be the cherry pecan, the chocolate marshmallow, and the classic mint chip. Every time I go to this place, there is one flavor on the menu. I keep saying I want to try, but I don't do it. And that would be the licorice flavor. If you've been to this location and you've had licorice flavored ice cream, I'd love to know what your opinion was of that flavor. In conclusion, that's my list of some of the top restaurants in the Ogden area. If you have eaten at any of these restaurants, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what are your favorite dishes at these particular restaurants. If there is a restaurant that is not on my list, I'd love to know in the comments down below. I'm always open to trying new restaurants. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Until the next video, take care and stay safe.